Okay, guys. So, I have two monitors here. Um, but I have a problem. I can only power one because of the HDMI port. So what I decided to do is I decided to go out and get this. So what this does is it's a dongle. So it just plugs right into there. And then the HDMI plugs right into there. So I'm going to unbox it and set it up so I have two monitors. Let's get into it. Okay, yeah, so what I did is I just went down to my local office works. Um, and I just, you know, got this. Um, you know, not too expensive. Um, fingers crossed it works, so I'm just going to unbox it. It's surprisingly hard to unbox stuff one-handed. Yeah. Um, a new thing also in macOS Monterey, they have this, which is the same as there. Um, you know, same as any other screensaver. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that, guys. So what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm actually really nervous because I didn't see if this was going to fit beforehand. Ah, got it. Yeah, HDMI in there. Put that right into there. So, I'm just going to plug that in with ease. Too easy. And we're just going to walk behind here. Let's ignore the severely terrible cable management. Where's the black HDMI? Over there. I'm just going to unplug this grey one. Just leave that one there. And what I'm going to do is this black one here. Plug this right into here powering up that monitor sweet now what I'm going to do is because now the cable's too small I'm going to pull it through here and then I'm just going to connect these two Boom, they're connected. Just like that. So, just gonna move that stuff off to the side, bring my keyboard forward, space bar. Now wait for the magic to happen. Hoping that it happens. So, we have my early 2015 MacBook Pro powered up. We have my 27-inch uh, <clears throat> Lenovo Think Vision monitor powered up. And then we have my Acer monitor powered up. So we're just going to power all of this back on. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're just going to log in. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go into system preferences. 
Then we're going to go to displays. And we have three. So if you see, I can't move over to here to this monitor. But if I move off to the side, it's now on there. And if I keep moving, it's now on there. All right? If I move over here, not up. So I have to move all the way across. But what we're going to do is we're then going to put this one over here. So that'll, the screen will go black for a minute. And then we have all oh, three here. Now I can't go off to that side anymore. But I now can go over to here. All the way across. And go over there. And now I have two working monitors. And yes, and another little tip. Um, you see that this little white tab thing at the top, that's telling me what one's my main, my main display. And that's showing this one here, my Acer one, um, is the main display. But if I wanted to change it to my Lenovo one, I just drag that across and now this is my main display which I think I'm going to do because it's right in the middle of my two. And then what else I'm going to, oh, something else I'm going to do is go to desktop. Secondary. Yeah. And then, you know, you can just play around with it, you know, until you get some comfortable settings. So I'm just fiddling around. Um, if we go to display settings, we have my MacBook Pro, which is an extended display. We have this Lenovo one as the main display, uh, with 60 Hertz, which is currently the top one <laughs> I can go to. We have my Acer one with... Um, something else. So we're just going to make sure that they're, all the color profiles are color LCD. So then they are all you know, the same color profile. Um, which is something very useful. Um, I'm just going to press done. Make sure it works. To, um, works across all the devices, both monitors. So I'm just gonna grab the top, drag it flawlessly over here, and boom. Now we're just gonna drag it back over here, boom, and we're just gonna drag it over here, boom. So, I just got this cheap um, keyboard and mouse from uh, my local um, uh, you know, shopping centre. Um, that's the mouse just there. Got the mouse pad, same place. Um, I got given these two monitors. Um, like I said at the start of the video, just got this one from my local office works. Um, but as you can see, it is really easy you know, shift between, um, you know, I can you know, change, you know, I can scroll through, do what I need to. Um, you know. I need to do work. I can have my work up on here. Like, you know, if I'm doing a video on the Apple, on Apple, I can have my work up on here. I can have, you know, my TV show on here. And my notes on here. Or I can have, you know, Apple website, notes, and then my TV show not on here. 
actually on here my apple on here oh here my apple tv that's not my normal tv so thanks for watching guys um that's just a bit of a short show of how to how i got a dual monitor set up with my mac um without using vga yeah so um and i actually ran into a problem before on the acer one because it's a bit of an older acer thing there's no hdmi ports Zero HDMI ports. We have, you know, we have the DVI, the VGA, but no HDMI ports. So, you know, I got a little uh, VGA dongle thing to plug into my um, HDMI. That didn't work, so I just got a DVI to HDMI thing, and that seems to be working flawlessly. And then with this one, with my 27 inch uh, Lenovo, um, you know, it has three, four USB A's and one headphone jack. It has um, a USB C, um, a, D, a DP um two hdmi ports um and then on my mac we have a headphone jack two um you know um <laughs> usb a's um two thunderbolt three ports and then my magnetic charging and then this side we have the SD card slot and the HDMI. And this is, they all have different sequences of where they're up to. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and peace. See you in the next video.